It is going to be an absolute scorching show. We've had upset, we've had knockout, we've had everything, we've had controversy. Don't you go away. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this is Infusion. Yeah. here for Enfusion 58 in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. Story is centuries deep and endless like the desert. Where it opens like a mirage, unlikely, unbelievable at first. It starts with the vision of wise men who take the sand, the sea, the sun and weave a masterpiece they call home. They build forts against time, <laughs> monuments for faith, for the future, where they can welcome the world and all its creations. They venture on journeys full of twists and turns, towering heights and dizzying drops to treasures of awe of beauty, passed down for generations, waiting for you to arrive. Abu Dhabi, your extraordinary story. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Edwin Vanos's End Fusion Live proudly presents an evening of world-class fight action for your entertainment pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, your officials for the evening, your timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Vak Tong, your judges at ringside, Mr. Jason Woodham of the UK, Mr. Augustine Helju of Romania, and Abu Bakr Masrab of Morocco. Your referees in charge in the squared circle this evening when the action gets under the way, the excellent Mr. Mufadel El Ghazawi, and the esteemed Mr. Yup Abida of the Netherlands. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time to pull your visors down on your helmets, fasten your seat belts, and prepare to be entertained because we're here for Infusion Live edition 58 in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. And without any further ado, oh, let's get the action underway. And please welcome firstly to the blue corner from Portugal, Igor X-Ray Fernandes. And welcome to a very, very special edition of Infusion Indeed, number 58 tonight. We are going to see some action that I guarantee is going to be absolutely amazing. I am really up for this, as you can tell, I wore a special digimo just for you. We're going to really go for it tonight. Enjoy it. Sit with me and Fusion Live. So here we go now, making his way to the ring is Igor Fernandes, all the way from Portugal. And you know what, listen, I've got to admit that he is up against it. The kid at the moment. The kid of the moment is really, really on fire indeed. Nabil Haruli, who's known as Tyson, and now he's a ridiculous he's on to the talent. Red corner from Morocco, Nabil Tyson Haruli. Making his way to the ring is the 18-year-old sensation. He's had 16 fights, 15 wins, one loss with 11 KOs. He's an absolute banger. And here's how it goes, Sunshine. 
Keep your eye on the target or you become the target. We said this yesterday, you know I'll sat with them poolside because I get all the privileges to go and run with Infusion and Julie Kitchen, bringing you an absolutely amazing show here in Abu Dhabi. And I was talking to him and his family and they are a real tight, tightly knit unit, great people. And they were saying, if you don't keep your eye on the target, you become the target. And if, when he's got his sights on you, now Beal, he is an absolute monster of kickboxing, we'll see. His opponent is Igor Fernandez, 32 years of age, 21 fights, 15 wins. Five losses, one draw, with eight KOs. Trains at the D, uh, Dina Mita gym, with Dina Petro, who is an absolutely fabulous coach. Uh, and an incredible person indeed. Really, really knows the sport, so we'll see. Quite unassuming character, but a very, very mean spirit and a very big puncher indeed. Our MC returns, Mr. Peter Lowe. And so, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 64 kilograms. At age 32, he brings a fighting record of 21 fights with 15 wins. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout with five defeats and one draw. From Portugal, it's Igor X-Ray Fernandes. He might be going for an X-Ray after he gets smacked around the chin off Nabil, let me tell you. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 67 kilograms exactly at age 18 years. He brings a fighting record of 16 fights with 15 wins. 11 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only the single defeat from Morocco. It's Nabil Tyson Hayuli. Locked and loaded. Look at the stare on Nabil. Ladies and this bout is brought to Means you and proudly boys. sponsored by Cartel Fashion. And this Enfusion Rules bout will take place in the minus 67 kilogram division and will be contested over three three minute rounds in the event of a draw. There will be a fourth deciding round. Well, the excellent MC, Mr. Peter Lowe, makes his return on this very, very special occasion indeed. In the white shorts is Nabil Haruli, known as Tyson. Tyson by name, listen, Tyson by nature, this kid has got absolute rockets in his fist. And Igor Fernandez, Fernandez X-ray, he might need one after he gets whacked around the chin off this kid. We'll see. A three three-minute rounds and fusion rules action here in Abu Dhabi. In fusion 58, Muffadel is our referee. And this is going to be a sparkler. Round one. Okay, that's up. Okay. So, Mr. Epson, it's very good. It's very good. On other things. So, it's the rest, so it's the rest. Pause and ready to go all the time, this kid. If Fernandez will be good. But he gets caught. Big shots going in, that big overhand right. Oh my goodness, he's absolutely snotted and I couldn't think of anything else to say. He's special, lock and loaded, as I said, he's got the targets in his sights, his kid is special. Reminds me of a, a young Andre Brilliman, a uh, fighter from Majiro quite a few years ago, his intentions and to knock his spark out. He can do that. Liver shot was hard. He goes down in a crumbling mess. He's finding it hard to find his legs here. In Abu Dhabi, what an opener to a sparkling show. One more knockdown, this fight is over. It's gone, this kid, it's over, the fight's finished. I told you, didn't I? You know, listen, certain things come along. Certain boys come from nowhere. And let me tell you, this kid is absolutely a monster. 
Only a baby at 18 years of age, but listen, we know, don't we, Infusion seem to find the talents around the world in our beloved sport, and this kid is special. But coming in to the ring in a moment will be Pecheo Bamchamek, affectionately known as M. Here's some of the shots then. It really was just so full of dynamite, really, and you can't say anything else. Pushed forward with his shots, and as soon as he felt some of that, Fernandez thought, you know what, no thanks. And bang, bang, good night. What a performance that was. Well, commiserations to Igor Fernandez, who came in with ambition and left with what we all know anyway. This kid's a little bit special. And coming in after this will be one of the in the tournament, Yasin Batar versus Pecheo Bamchame. Well, what can you say? There was a scintillating performance, and Bamchamek, the home of a very famous fighter indeed, known the world over as Borkal. <laughs> Bamchamek, formerly known as Borkal, Paul Pramuk, now got his own gym since 2002. And that's coming up next Bamchamek versus Yasin Betar. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both men, please. And with one minute and 38 seconds completed of the first and opening round, your referee has stopped the contest with Igor Fernandez in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner fighting out of the red corner, it's Nabil Tyson Hayuli! What a very, very special talent indeed. No joke, no joke. And show There's your improvements to be made, but this kid's Igor good. Igor Not his family behind him. Good performance, commiseration to Igor. We keep your eye on the target, or you become it. And tonight, Igor became the target. Fight Promotions is coming back to Eindhoven for the fifth anniversary of Enfusion. With a world-class show. Andy Sauer versus Tafen Ozcan. Albert Klaus versus Nordin Ben Mo. Ishmael Lazar versus Luis Tavares. Khalid El Mukadam versus Youssef El Hadji. And Diogo Collado versus Nordin Van Rusman. I do. And now, please welcome to the blue corner, all the way from Thailand, Petschayo Banchame! Making his way to the ring is Petschayo Banchame. Last time out, he fought in Holland. A little bit of a contentious decision, really. He thought he won. Uh, he was upset. I thought he, he lost. But there you go. He fought the amazing Typhon Oscar, who's had a sparkling 2017. And let me tell you, 2018, a date with destiny for this young man from Turkey as he's going to be fighting the legendary Andy Sauer. That's the 17th of February. Let's not run away with this anyway. This is for the reserve part in our tournament. Pemchayok, Pemchayok, formerly, Vetsali, sorry, known as M. 189 fights, 156 wins, 30 losses, 3 goals, 10 KOs coming by way of knockout. He has the win over Sanchai. Yokao Jim, quite a few years ago, but he's a good kicker, and he improves all the time under these rules, we'll see. A three three minute rounds and fusion rules action here in Abu Dhabi. And now we saw up to the red corner from Belgium. Mr. Hollywood, Yassine Beta! Making his way to the ring then is Yassine Beta, known as a Mr. Hollywood. 26 years of age. From Belgium, 72 kilos, as you know. 94 fights, 81 wins, 11 losses, 2 draws, 10 KOs. He's had some great fights, he's kidding. He's always been a good one. And he's beaten Jabba Askarov. And he's fought all the big, big names. We're going to see. And as I said, 
Tonight is going to be very, very special. A very special show with some very special talents indeed. And there's none more special than these two, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm Billy Shawman and we are in Abu Dhabi for you live on Infusion. And from Belgium is the excellent Yassine Betar. But let me tell you, he's up against it. Well, you know what, listen, we've got fireworks, we've got dancers, we've got Jason Wooden from England, who's uh, just come in to help us do the show, and Muay Thai Muppets on uh, Instagram, you want to follow them. They are giving us all information about what's going on in the world of Muay Thai and kickboxing as well. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got a whole host of stars, we've got Peter Lobat, what can you say? It's all here. Mr. Hollywood comes in to a nice round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 72 kilograms exactly at 28 years of age. He brings a superb fighting record, 189 fights with 156 wins, 10 of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance with 30 defeats and three draws from the beautiful country of Thailand. It's Pech Chayo Ban Chame! In the black shorts with the gold, it's Pech Chayo Ban Chame. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he also scaled 72 kilograms exactly at 26 years of age. He brings a fighting record of 94 fights with 81 wins. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout with 11 defeats and two draws from Belgium, where he's known as Mr. Hollywood. It's Yassine Beta! And this bout is brought to you and proudly sponsored by Fighting Spirit and the Beauty Spot. And this infusion rules bout will take place and be a reserve bout for the minor 72 kilogram tournament over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be a fourth deciding round. So I'll see then, it'll be an interesting clutch of styles, won't it, ladies and gentlemen? The very busy short for the way, I believe, is. Uh, Mr. Yassim Batar, only a little bit shorter than Peteo Bamchamek. A three, three minute rounds and fusion rules action here in Abu Dhabi in a very, very special edition of our show indeed. We'll see. This is for a reserve fight, so if one of the fighters gets injured in the tournament, then one of these two will go through. We'll see. Our referee is Mr. Muffadel. And we're going to see what transpires here. <laughs> Round one. Regions. Middle, middle, on purpose. Yeah, nice left kick. 
Pecheo. He's got to make it uncomfortable for the tie. He can't let Pecheo get into a rhythm. If he does, it's going to be a hard night for him. Reach him with that right hand. He's got a good left kick, Vitar, when he uses it. Taking too many low kicks here. He needs to block these. Now he did so. Needs to block these low kicks. Started too slow here for me, Beta. He needs to look at that better. Can't fight a tight rhythm. If you're fighting these rules, fight a tight rhythm, you can be. Ties find it hard, and Muay Thai fighters find it hard when they put the pace on them early. It's a different rhythm altogether, different game. Caught low there. Showing his frustration here, Beitar, but he needs to be throwing his hands and scoring a lot quicker. It's, let's just see some of the action here, if it went low or not yet. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was wasn't on purpose, though. Better. Nice left kick. Right hand though, caught it again. Pecheo. He's just throwing his shots quicker than this. Can't get himself pushed up, does get hit with right hands, has a good jab for him. Beitar can't stand up and be kicked. That was a good meet. That was in the body, that weren't low. Didn't look low to me, that. Didn't look low. We'll have to see that on the replay. Yeah, it was. Borderline. It's borderline. It's borderline, that. Scrappy first round, relatively, really, isn't it? You know, because uh, there's been a lot of uh, kicks up straight low, etc. That knee was. No, but it wasn't on purpose. Twelve seconds ago, and there in the back is Nordin Benmo, Mr. KO, waiting for his chance. Good knees going in from M. Body kicks there with good punches from Beitar to end the round. A very difficult round to score, to be honest. Pecheo managed some good kicks. Here's some of the action, you know. As you can see, the ties favouring the kicking, but the punches. He took three kicks there. As he went in, Beitar, he does need to start quicker. With his hands at least, cause some uh, uncomfortability for Pecheo and really push him back. Pecheo on the other hand, needs to keep his hands up, bang them low kicks and step to his own right. And uh, keep volleying that leg off. And there is some very, very delectable dancers indeed. This is all showbiz tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to round number two then of a very, very exciting contest here on Infusion. Live for you from Abu Dhabi. A three, three minute round, Infusion rules action. Thailand versus Belgium. Inside leg kick starts from Betar. Standing his ground now, Pecheo, not just not going back, just leaning back, countering. 
Nice counter right hand, good body shots there from Betar with the left knee to the side of the body. A good left up there from Betar. It's the right hand that Pacheo eats quite often. It's a nice kick, took him well off balance. Good eyesight, Pecho, he's showing good movement, very calm at the minute. Good body kick there from Batai. Nice inside leg kick from Batar. Slays back, just... Where of each other here. All them punches were blocked, good knee from Batai. Nice left hook as he just angles to the side. Matar goes forward and lands his own. Heard him there. Pacheo was caught then. Good shots. He's got to get off them ropes. Gets caught again. He's in orbit here, you know. A few more shots, he'll go down here. He's in trouble. The Pacheo. Fakes on the way in, nice knee. Smothering his own work, needs to throw on the way in. Big overhand right. Swiss for Petto, tries to score with the knee. So really pour it on now. Seek solace on the ropes, but he stands up a little bit too high. There you go. Head movement is not as good. Combination back from Pecheo. Good side knee from him. From Betar looks frustrated. He can't have that. Nice kick back. Last 10 seconds of a more even round. Good push kick there from him. Better work there, I believe, for Betar. So, Nordin Benmo stares on impassively. Big overhand left, caused some real problems in the equilibrium of Pecheo. And he really did pile on the punches, didn't he, against the tie, the tie. Trying to stay on the ropes, trying to kick off the ropes. But at the moment, I believe it's one all, that's my opinion. One round each, and we'll see if he goes to round number three, then of a very, very exciting contest indeed in the corner of Pecheo. Is Borkal Bamchemet, the owner of the gym where Pecheo fights out of, and a no introduction in the world of a bouncing and getting ready to go. Is Yassine Batar, Mr. Hollywood? He starts this proceeding straight away with a kick inside the leg after a jab from Pacheo. Needs to start with a kick, Batar, nice jab. Heavy kick from the tie, left kick as well. Nice left kick scores, big shot goes in from Betar. This is where he needs to work right now, needs to be throwing shot, push the tie back, put him on the back leg. Does he want a kick game with the tie? That's a good shot. Gains respect as he goes into the clinch. Tough Betar. Very good fight with Mohamed Jiraiya this year. And he's a tough, tough kid. Strong as well. Tries to cover uppercut on the inside to Noah Vare, gets caught with the right knee as M comes forward. Gets 
caught with that right hand. He seems oblivious to it at times, you know. Stands with his head too high. A little bit lazy with his left hand. Good double kick. Misses with a high kick. It's anybody's round fight this, you know. He needs, one of them needs to work. Switches off, Pechao, I believe, just focus goes. In the middle of the round, he seems to just drift mentally. Left up. Needs to work. Yassine Betar needs to work as well. Good body shot. Remember, this will go to an extra round if there is one. Depends how the judges see it. Getting pushed back now, Betar. Getting scored on with the meat. Last 20 seconds, 25 seconds, I apologise. And this has been a very exciting fight. Tense, good shots. other end, bravado going on. <laughs> Celebrating too early there, Batar. So we'll see a very, very close fight indeed. A lot of kicking going on and being scored in the final round by Pecheo Bamchimek. Really any punches going in that was landed by Betard, it was that one over the top. What did you like? We'll see. Could go to an extra round, let's see. So judges deliberate. As Marvin Montero has his big opportunity as Red Lana Lakubi was injured and couldn't have the fight. <laughs> Yassine Betar comes over to me and asks me my opinion now. I am saying nothing. We'll just see what the judges say. It was a close fight. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both men, please. And at the end of our three completed rounds of our minus 72 kilogram tournament reserve bout, your ringside judges have reached a split decision. Split decision in then. In favour of your winner fighting out of the red corner, is he well, there you go. Mr. Very, Hollywood. very tight fight indeed. Beta. We'll see. So he moves on. Pecheo show your appreciation for our runner-up, You know what the problem is? Banchere. The problem with Pecheo, he switches off in the in middle of the rounds, and that was his problem, but we'll see anyway. Yassine Betar goes through, and will he get a chance for that mega, mega dough of €100,000? If anyone gets injured, we'll see. So here's what's coming up then, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you move, you dare. I'll come round your house and make you glue to your chair. Marvin Montero versus Nordin Bemau, Aziz Kalar versus Mohamed Kamal for the King of Amsterdam, and Rogelio van der Ent versus Superbomb Banchamet. We'll be right back. See you very soon. Welcome to Enfusion Travel. Are you ready for a new adventure? Enfusion Travel takes you around the world. Come and support your favorite fighters. Enfusion Travel offers package deals to attend the events. Come and train with us on Koh Samui in Thailand. We will take you to all the Enfusion Live events around the world. We will make your trip unforgettable. With meet and greets, attend the weigh-ins, along with many more benefits. Travel the world with EnfusionTravel.com. Come and let us take you around the globe. Book your tour now at www.EnfusionTravel.com. We will bring you an unforgettable adventure. And now, please welcome to the Baloo Corner from Cape Verde, the
Machine, Marvin Montero! So the hero, Martin Montero then. Will it be a happy ending for him? We're gonna see, aren't we? He gets his chance because Redman the QB was injured. Redman the Gladiator will be back very soon on it. We wish him a speedy recovery. And hey, good guy, Redman, and always in a good fight. So, Marvin Montero then, 72 fights, 59 wins, 11 losses, two draws, with 16 KOs. 25 years of age. Nickname of the machine, trains out of the Eagle Gym. We'll see. Marvin Montero, you may know, scored an absolutely beautiful spinning back kick against Anwar Lamai. And we'll see. But he's got his work cut out for him, ladies and gentlemen, tonight because Nordin Van Mo is absolutely lethal with the left up. The left knee, pretty much everything that he does, so we'll see. So you just join us here on Infusion. I'm Vinny Shulman and we are live for you from Abu Dhabi. And the familiar voice, the return of the man in the, the no, Peter Lowe. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Morocco, Nordin Ben Mo! Crowd favourite and always in a good one, Nordin Ben Mo, 26 years of age, 83 fights, 78 wins, four losses, one draw with 49 wins coming by way of knockout. Some of the names he has wins over. Sergino Cantors, Mahamid Ryan and Oskan. We'll see. Nordin is always an exciting fight. And you'll see Nordin again. 2018 is Date With Destiny against the brilliant and the ever, ever popular Albert Krauss. That'll be on our fifth anniversary show. February the 17th, live for you from Ido. Lethal punch of Nordin Benmo and absolutely deadly with the left knee. Montero's got it all to do tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 71 kilograms exactly at 25 years of age. He brings a record of 72 fights with 59 wins. 16 of those wins coming by way of knockout with 11 defeats and two draws from Cape Verde. It's Marvin the Machine Montero. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 71 kilograms. At 26 years of age, he brings an excellent fighting record of 83 fights with 78 wins. 49 of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance with only four defeats and one draw. From Morocco, it's Nordin Ben Mo! Nordin Ben Mo versus And Marvin this bout Martin. is brought to you and proudly sponsored by Al Shira Stables, Abu Dhabi. And this infusion rules bout is the minor 72 kilogram tournament quarter final number one. This bout will be contested over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be a fourth deciding round. So nobody does it better, does he? Let me be honest, come on. You can't get better than Peter Lowe. Bringing the action to us, our referee is going to miss me, me Mr. Yo, it's not like Porky Pig. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> Yo, who be that? So the black and multicolored shorts will be Nordin Ben Mo, Mr. KO, and Marvin Montero, the machine. In the black shorts with the white trim, a three, three minute round. And fusion rules action to go through the hundred thousand euro title. 
sharp inside kick from Benmo. Fast kicker, Montero. Fast, good speed. When he gets close, Benmo is lethal with the knee. You put your hands with him, he pulls your hands down and lets a blitz streak of shots go off. Not messing about, Montero, is he? Dangerous. All sorts being thrown. That left hook to the body, though, of Ben Moses, the best in the business, when he lands it. Started really fast, Marvin. Whether we can keep this up, I don't know. They're not saving themselves, are they, for later on? It's a good shot. It's a good shot to the body from Ben Mo. It's dangerous, Marvin, because he throws all sorts. That was a nice shot to the body. Good knee. Takes the left hook again. Finding his distance now, isn't he, Ben Mo? to the body from Benmo, and that's his signature shot, you know. Saving himself, isn't he? You notice sometimes as well in tournaments, people won't kick much, the reason being that when I damage the shins or the feet, they use a lot of boxing. It's a good shot on the inside. Last 40 seconds of this first round. It's been good action, hasn't it? Blood coming from the nose of Marvin. Looking for the spin there, wasn't he? You can see how he turned his body to spin and do something. In. He got on that, didn't he? Ben Mo through the low kick. Inside, outside, nice uppercut from Ben Mo. Still scoring though. Looks worse for wear, Marvin. He just needs to calm himself down a bit. Good lateral movement. Very interesting round. Difficult one to score. We'll see. She's going in. You know. We'll see. Spin there. Marvin's a little bit erratic with his attacks, but that's what he's like. He throws everything. But the kitchen sink. We'll see. Ben Mo more workmanlike. Landing heavy shots. We'll see. And there he is in the background, Mohammed Mocha Kamel. And for coming up against Aziz Kalar, there's no love lost between them. The king of Amsterdam is on the line here. Nice kick start from Marvin. Super fit. It's hard to keep this up. Has his own left up to the body. Smirk across the lips of Ben Mo. Doesn't take his eye off the target at all. Good lateral movement from Marvin Montero. Good rhythm. That's a good shot. Felt that one. He really did. He whacks that left hook in so strong as you can see the venom. That was a good shot. Nice shot over the top.
top. Another good shot, good kick back from Marvin. Dives in with a left up, Ben Moe. Blood coming from the nose. And the Cape Verde fighter tries his own right hand. Pulls down the left hand, that's what they said, he does that so well. Side kick from Marvin, still scoring, moving. Come shield comes out from Montero again. Uppercut from a distance, side to left up. Walking round behind a tight guard though, Ben Mo. Hitting gloves there. Last minute of this second round. Marvin kicking a hell of a lot. Ben Mo starting to land with his chopping shots. Just saving boxing. If you notice, not kicked at all, Ben Mo. Not throwing any kicks. Good shot to the body. Intention all the time, Ben Mo going forward, trying to wear down Montero, who's a late substitute. Left hook. Good kick to the body. Slips on the canvas. Interesting round. So you just join us, what a round that was, you know. Really, really went for it, didn't he? And Mo looks a more powerful than two, but Marvin was scoring with the kicks. It's who do you like? It really is who do you like. So we'll see then, won't we? As we go to round number three then of a very, very exciting contest, and it was non-stop, wasn't it? Marvin just losing balance at points and you know that can go against you really it doesn't look solid you know you look like you're prepared to defend yourself well we'll see and coming up after this will be Aziz Kalar versus Mohamed Mocha Kamel round number three of this one coming forwards all the time Ben Mo. Got a counter from there though, but Marvin does start the round fast. Just pick it, just trying to pick his shot. It's a difference. Frustration across the face of Ben Mo there as he had the target in his side, just slipped out, didn't it? Montero though. Brave as they come, really strong, fit kid. <laughs> Waiting too long, Ben Mo. Should be throwing. Minute down. Got to do more in this round, Ben Mo, I believe. Better, that was a nice left hook. Spinning back fist from Mentaro is always dangerous. Super fit, this kid. Nice. Short chopping left up, took that well, nothing wrong with the chin of Montero. Good left up to the body. Montero scoring better in this round though, doing more really. 
Trying to look for the perfect shot, Venmo taking too long at times. That was better. Needs his combination, just throw him, let himself go. Nice movement from Venmo. Ben Mo now, this is, this is what steals the round. Marvin did some good work in the beginning of the round, but as he, as he goes on and he starts to put pressure on, it's looking raggedy. Less 10 seconds. Marvin does some good work in this round. Good shot. Good fight. Very, very good fight indeed. Some great action. So how would you like that one then, ladies and gentlemen? Running around the ring, Marvin just trying to get out of the blitzkrieg of attack that was Nordin Ben Mo, especially the lethal left hook, but he scored a hell of a lot in the beginning of the round, so look, we'll see. As I said, I'm not a judge. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a judge. So we'll see then. Action was frenetic and fast. They've saved nothing, haven't they, really, for later on. And you know, they don't. And this level, 100,000 euros is a lot. Coming up next will be Aziz AK47, Kala versus Mohamed Kamel, Rajilio van der Ent versus Superman Ban Chamek, and Diogo Collado versus Andy Semel. We'll see. Raptors applause, and justifiably so, for two very, very strong and brave warriors indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of these men, please. Indeed. And after three completed rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision, all in favour of your winner, and through to the semi-finals of our 100,000 Euro tournament. Fighting out of the red corner, it's Nordin. Ben you know Mo! what, listen. You've got to give credit to Marvin. Your appreciation for our runner-up, Marvin Montero. And he's a bit erratic with his sign. He didn't keep his balance enough for me, but anyway, doesn't matter. He'll be back. He's been signed by Infusion. We'll see him again very soon. We are going to take the roof off here. These fights are going to be absolutely real. And the suspense couldn't get any higher. and the anticipation is growing. Do not move from your seat. Wow! What a shot! He's gone. He's absolutely gone. This is an absolute one. Now I'm on the edge of my seat. Indeed, and so am I. Oh! Swapping bombs! Big left hook! We have absolutely the best kickboxing show in the world. The most entertainer brought to you by Infusion. There, there you go! go. Making his way to the ring is a very special young man indeed. 
24 years of age, 60 fights, 56 wins, 4 losses, 29 KOs. Uh, the Enfusion, a reality champion, three times a Dutch champion. 32 kilos. It'll be for the King of Amsterdam this because they're both from different sides of the city. Last time, this was a fight between two Moroccans from Amsterdam. At this level, was Mohamed Kamel, who you'll be seeing in a moment, against close of the Jackie Amrani. I was there. He went to an extra round with the winner being Mohamed Kamel. It was an absolute scorcher. One of the greatest fights I've been privileged to bring side. And tonight, I believe this is going to go the same way. Do not go anywhere. This could be one of the best fights you could ever see in your life. Trust me. Niet opgeven als ik je verlies, dan ben je aan niveau en zal ik zeker mijn props geven. Jij hebt niks gedaan, maar ze praten wel. Je naam blijft ergens in het rond zweven. Jij gaat doen wat ik zeg. Ah, Zies, Kala! So, guess what I've just found in the background? The lady herself, the most beautiful person, as when sits next to me. Julie Kitchen, Julie, this is going to be an awesome one. Now, please welcome to the red corner from Morocco. Mohamed, the real fighter! Come on! Oh my god, Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. So, making his way to the ring then is Mohamed Mota Kamel. A real fighter is his name, fighting 40, 59 fights. Oh, 48 wins, 8 losses, 3 draws, 24 KOs is still the name. He's beaten Alba Dushenko, Liam Harrison, Mosa Mavrani, Sayok, Anouak, Kiao Zablin, Haruka Gorin, and Dong Tong Chakawana. He has beat some big names. This guy is a great fighter. This is going to be an absolute torture of a fight. Julie, what a class is it's going to be. The last time I seen two people, two Moroccans fight at this level was Mosab Mos Mos versus Mohamed Kamal. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 72 kilograms at 24 years of age. He brings a Excellent record of 60 fights with 56 wins. 29 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only four defeats. He's an Enfusion reality champion from Morocco. Is Aziz AK 47 Kerla? And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he also scaled 72 kilograms exactly at 27 years of age. He also brings an excellent record. 59 fights with 48 wins. 24 of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance with only eight defeats and three draws. From Morocco, it's Mohamed, the real fighter. Come on! And ladies and gentlemen, this bout is brought to you and proudly sponsored by SuperProSamui.com and Travability. And this end fusion rules bout will be for the minus 72 kilogram tournament quarterfinal number two. This bout will be contested over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there'll be one more deciding round. Well, listen, at the weigh in yesterday, there was. There was absolutely no love lost. The intention was absolutely incredible. You could feel the atmosphere, Jules. This is going to be a scorcher, isn't it? Yeah, it's a kind of a shame that they've met so early in the tournament, isn't it? No. <laughs> not for is us. It? No. Not for us in the red and green with Infusion blazing on the front. Is Aziz Kalar and Mocha Kamel in the black and red. Our referee is Mr. Mufadel. Oh, looking heavy. Strong, Mohamed. Changes the game when you're paying yeah. this kind of money. He's beaten some big names, Mohamed, namely 
Robin van Roosmalen twice, once by a knockout. Good with the knees. Hibo said to me yesterday in the sauna that had worked on Aziz's knees and worked on clinching. But Aziz is lethal, it really is. Down goes Kalar. The difference in this may be strength. We'll see. Good shot that was. Really nice. Oh, what so a that shot. right hand. I was going to say the one shot that Mohammed gets hit with his right hand sometimes and takes his eye off the target there. But it's rock hard. Good shot on the end side. Good beat attempt by Kalar. Needs to kick Julian Chain's plan here. For sure. I think if uh, Kalar really works that leg as well, because he's standing heavy on it using the boxing. Yeah. yeah. Strong leg, leg kick. Yeah. Goes underneath, pushes him down. Begin rough in there. Showing strength though, isn't he? Kamel looks that physically stronger, doesn't he? Looks he looks extremely strong. Very focused. Good shots. Muscles Kamal down. Scored though well there, didn't he? Good knees from Kalar. Nice combination. No shortage of skill, heart and determination by these two. They're both very good operators indeed. Into Don't mind the way he turns, Southpaw Kamal doesn't really do anything from it. So much better when he throws over, Dr. He's been scoring well for me. Nice combination, beautiful That's work. Where he's strong when he's throwing the combos. Yeah, and he's negating the knee as well, Julian, with the twist. Good oh. right hand, took it well. Looking for the knee to the face. Last 10. Good round, good score in there from Kamel. Very good round indeed. Wow, what a first round there. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah, so we got Julie next to me. Jules, already you've left me, because I understand you're very busy. But what a show we've had. I told you I'd go all out, didn't I, and I did. And you've been amazing, what a fight. You look amazing with Thank your, you, your dicky bow. But look at the action here. You know, Kamal pushing forward as his claw landed some nice right hands, didn't he? Back and forth. You know, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say who got that first round. The combination, the difference is, is, is as he's Kalar, he's throwing knees, but then when he throws knees, he's getting thrown to the floor as well. The combinations here are starting to catch the eye, and he's hiding behind a water tank guard. But smartness will come into it. The second round, losing Carbon, a genius, a hippo, hippo, Shabrani. Knows what he's on about. We're going to round number two then. Of a very, very interesting fight between two very, very proud Moroccans. Moroccan magic in full effect here. We're going to round number two then. Ladies and gentlemen, two superstars of kickboxing after a real, real big prize. Let's see. King of Amsterdam is on the line too. Beautiful turn. Good knee from Kalar that went up the middle. Finding room for his shots. Mohamed Kamal. Kamal just putting the combinations together. Yeah. Worked on the tactics of Kamal though, haven't they? Aziz Kalar as well. They had a game plan. Yeah. Him Kalar just stood on his feet, screaming instructions to his brother. Two kids, great fighters. Good knee from Kalar. Can't 
take his eye off this. Neither can. Big shots going in from both. Nice leg kick there from Kalar. Another leg kick, good combination back from Kamel. Left kick back from Kalar. Good knee up the middle from Kalar as he comes forward. The crowd getting behind this one. Good combination there. Needs to play off the ropes, come out. Yeah, he's pushing him back, isn't he? Yeah, good combination. Nice punches. Nice sneak right hand over the top. That's good from Kamal. Back comes a leg kick from Kalar. I told you, didn't I? The I told you this would be special. Shots are landing sweetly. Yeah. Just pulling out a distance there, just and then moving in. Leg kick from Kalar. Nice knee yeah, misses. Up the middle, tries to jump in. Yeah. Leg kick from Aziz. Body shot there from Mota Kamal. Good twist. It's a fine combination. Better. There you go. That was better from Mohammed. Takes a big suck of air. The really tough Moroccan. Good oh. score. Down he goes again. Needs more of that, Kamal. Needs to throw more. That was better. Good knee. Oh. Knee again. Corner screaming him forward. Kamal has been pushed on the back foot. Don't like the way that Mohamed Kamal goes to Southport. It's to no avail at all. Doesn't work for him. It looks like he's backing off a little. Yes. Combination. This is better from. That's better. Waves That's him in. As is. He hurts. Took a bad shot. He's, he's in way. trouble. It's all at sea here, JK. Good shots from Kamel. Oh, left and left the left side. The bell ends. What was an Save absolutely brilliant the round. I'm sat here clapping. The what am I clapping for? I'm sat here clapping. What's wrong with me? What a fight. I told you, didn't I? I told you. Ziz Kalar got really hurt there from Kamel. When he goes south or he doesn't work, here's the combination. Just, for me, he's catching the fight, JK. Yeah, amazing round. Yeah, Aziz Kalar really got caught there. That break just came at the right time for him. Yeah, indeed. But he'll come back. He's absolutely teaked off this kid, who's an absolute star in this sport. They both are. There was no love lost, but let me tell you, after this, there will be a massive, massive mutual agreement of respect. Of course, of course. So there's the shots going in. Coming into the third and final round now. Is Kamal going to finish what he was uh, nearly finishing there in the second round? The strength and the, the punishment that these two can give and take is absolutely world class. Don't blink. We're going to round number three. I've never seen Aziz Kamal in a bad fight. I've never seen Mohammed Kamal in a bad fight. Everything we'll to play see. for. Shots coming back from Aziz now. Can't back off in a straight line, Mohamed come out. Aziz is lethal with the knee. Good high kicker as well when he throws it up. Great eyesight, Kalar. Good shot there from Aziz. Oh, Good high kick, as I said. As I did say, he took that right on his rock hard head. Good oh. shot over the top. These shots are landing so sweetly, aren't they? They've taken a lot. Showing strength, looking for that shot. Look how he's just edging out, Jules. Just taking the knee off Kalan and throwing the shot. See when he's looking for it? Well, slowing down two minutes left of uh, this three round contest. Just better when he kicks Kalan. When, when I see Kalan kicks, just so much better. Good knee up the middle. Nice movement from Mohamed Kamal. Good knee as well. Good fun back from Kalan. This is a classic. Oh, good shot. Good combination back from Kamal, finishing with the low kick. He does so much better when he kicks as he's... Good fight, this. Last half of a round that's been a classic. Big overhand right. Been the shot of the day for him. Nice combination. He waves him in. 
and walks, gets caught again, long right hook from. He felt that one. Don't go southpaw because he gets caught. Do you know what? Whoever wins is going to take a lot of injuries through. Tough man in a very tough sport and one sparkling show. It really has been absolutely superb. This good knees from Kalar. He's willing himself forwards. Nice score, body shots and hooks. Inside leg kick. Kalar will come forward. There's no denying him. Needs more. Good push kick there. Good turn. Well, coming up to the last 30 seconds, everything to play for now. Makes him miss. Good twist from Mohamed Kamal, last 20 seconds. Hand sweating from your commentator here. Good shots going in. Round Steelers. Screams going in, Aziz Kalar still coming forward. Incredible fight this. Brilliant fight, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, a good fight. Both hands are raised. It was a great fight by both fighters. Yeah, they both raised the hands aloft. There was good scoring going on from both. It was knees, there was kicks. We'll see. For me, Aziz Kalar, there's the high kick. I did mention it, didn't I? I'm glad I know these guys. You know, overhand rights were scoring. Better balance has shown at time from Mocha come out. Fat, longer combinations, low kicks going in. It's a scorcher. We'll see as the judges deliberate, but I tell you what, I'd love to see that again. You know what? Do you know, we've got more to come this evening, haven't we? Have we? Indeed. Fight after fight. Yeah, we have indeed. So the King of Amsterdam, proverbially, we'll see. And there's our MC, Peter Lowe. Tension all around ringside for you here, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Fabulous fight. Congratulations to Bo. Brilliant fight. Absolutely brilliant. I told you it would be. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both these men after three excellent rounds of action. And at the end of those three completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner and through to the semi-finals of tonight's tournament. Fighting out of the red corner, it's Mohamed, the real fighter. Look, a Come shot on! across Aziz Kalar's face. But we'll see. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Aziz Kalar. It was a good fight. You know, it's a shame because it, they we're in a classic. We will see him again. But what a fabulous performance by two very, very, very good fighters indeed. And it's not stopping there, is it? Rajilio van der Ent versus the superstar who he's picked, Superbon Bamchamek. That's coming up right after this. And Fusion Knockout Top 5. Number 5. Number four. Number three. Number two. And then Fusion Knockout. Number one. Infusion. And now, please welcome to the blue corner from the Netherlands, Rachilio van den Ey. You know what? This kid said, you know, I've been given a chance to fight on Infusion. 
against the favourite amongst a lot of people saying this kid's the favourite, right? Uh -huh, but Superman Van Chamek. But Revilio, Regilio van der En lacks nothing in the department of balls. Yeah, there you go. Bit of swearing, bit near Christmas, but you know, the kids won't mind if they're not just Say he's a naughty man, the commentator. But listen, this kid is up against it and he knows that he's only 22 years of age. Now 37 fights, 29 wins, seven losses, one draw with 11 KOs. And he will try and knock holes out of Super Bomb Bam Chimet. This kid has not come to lose. And now, please welcome Trust to the me. red corner from Thailand, Super Bomb Bam Chimet! Making his way to the ring then is the young man. Very softly spoken as Thai people are, but a real monster when it comes to talent. He can effortlessly kick left or right. He has beautiful timing, his high kicks are lethal. He's the next big star from Thailand, and guess what? We've got him right here on Infusion. So we'll see. Making his way to the ring is Superbon Banchamek. He's 26 years of age, 128 fights, 93 wins, three, uh, 30 losses, five draw with 49 wins by coming by way of knockout. He has a big win over City Jai Sitsompinong, and he also has a win over Mohamed Mocha Kamel. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 72 kilograms exactly. At 22 years of age, he brings a record of 37 fights, 29 wins. 11 of those wins coming by way of knockout with seven defeats and one draw. From the Netherlands, it's Regilio van der He chose the biggest mountain to climb and he says... And he's across the to ring, to... fighting out of the red corner. And yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 71 kilograms exactly at 26 years of age. He brings an excellent fighting record, 128 fights with 93 wins, 49 of those wins coming by way of knockout with 30 defeats and five draws from the beautiful country of Thailand. It's Super Bon Bachemi! This introduction and needs and no. This is brought to you and proudly sponsored by this corner man needs no issues the world over. And this infusion rules the corner is the oh. minus 72 kilogram tournament. Regilio. Quarter final number three. This bout will be contested over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be one more deciding round. So Borkal Bamchamek and Marino shouting the two corner men. MC Peter Lowe giving us a sparkler of what promises to be an absolute scorch. This kid, I'm telling you now, will not has not come to lose. He is coming to knock Bam Chamek's chin off. He'll try, whether he can or not is a different thing, but let me tell you, he's going to have a very, very good go. A three, three-minute rounds and fusion rules action here in the black and white shorts is the very brave and determined Regilio van der Ent. And in the white shorts is the superstar from Thailand, Superban Bam Chemek. A three, three-minute rounds quarter-final here for 100,000 euro here in Abu Dhabi. So let's see then. Our referee is Mr. Yop Uida, who needs no introduction the world over. Regilio van der Ent wants to make a name for himself. Can he? We'll see. He's going to go straight at Bam Chamek. He won't let him settle. Nice left kick. Bamchamek got good eyesight, really good rhythm. But Regilio van Hent has not come to lose, let me tell you. Good puncher. A good chin. Bamchamek is going to need it. But he's going to get tested tonight on the chin. This kid's tough, real tough.
Solo already smart, moving away from the right hand of Rogelio. See how he's moving to his right, trying to get that, stop the right hand because Rogelio has got a good straight right. Nerves will be setting in for this kid as well because he's a big, big name. But listen, it's to climb the highest mountain. He's got the equipment to do it. Whether he can get to the top, different thing altogether, we'll see. Leg kick starting to land. Good push kick there from Superbon. For the movement. Beautiful lace back flows, left up, right kick. Bantamek train different, they don't just do pad work all the time. They do strength and conditioning, they sharpen. Nice combination. Good right hand. Good knee. Good combination of punches over the top. Won't let the tie settle. Good push kick. 26 years of age, got years ahead of him as well. Bam Chamek. Beautiful push kick off the lead leg. Good shots. Can't leave his chin out to dry. This kid will try to test it. The danger though is that was a beautiful knee. That was a perfect knee. That's finished. Timing is everything. He'll get up. He'll try his best. But he'll target that area now. He's got 10 seconds to do it in nine seconds. Already hurt. He knows it can hurt. Virgilio. So good, isn't he? He's absolutely beautiful to watch. You know, this kid will try his best. And as I said, he did choose Bam Shemet. But it's perfect timing as he landed that sweet knee to the body. And Diogo Collado, 75 kilo world champion, will be fighting the dark horse in Andy Semelier, who beat at Jordan Watson from England, a TKO victory in an extra round. Diogo Collado, this is Andy Samuel, that's coming up right after this one. Beautiful timing though, wasn't it? From Spanchemek to seem to get his rhythm. Beautiful knee, absolutely superb. And then the push kicks were sweet. He just doesn't panic. Just out of distance, isn't he? Just a couple of inches. But again, Rutilio will try his best. We go into round number two oh. then. Bam Chamek in the white and in the black is Van der Ent. 100,000 euros, a lot of money for anyone. Life changing money, really is. Good push kick there. Bam Chamek. Good jab. Good boxer as well, Bam Chemek, good hands. Effortless, isn't it? Just effortless kick. Good combination. Tries his best. He's a success fighter, Rogelio, you know? When he lands a combination, he sees any sort of way that he can find any damage. He really still tries his best. Only a baby in the spot. Beautiful right hand though, wasn't it? Well caught kick. Nice stepping knee. Good left kick. Can't find a way in, can he, at the minute? Rogelio 
tries the right hand again. Just got a good eyesight as he just pulls back out of distance. Bam Chemek. Nice high kick from him. Good left hook and a right hand from the brave Dutchman still going forward. Tries that step he needed and success with in the first round. Moving backwards, he's sweet, just throws the left hook as he moves his back leg. <laughs> Tries everything with that left hook. lead kick left up to the body from the youngster from Alec Martin Holland still comes forward still trying his best nice push kick good timing good right hand though good left up forward comes Virgilio brave a very brave attempt but more of the master showing the student how it's done well you know what listen what people do do not understand it, it takes two to tango and you know what, Virgilio van der Ent is giving his absolute best and his best at the moment is not good enough but still this will do him no harm having a go at the very very best of his, they tried to pull him down, slipped animated corner from Marino shouting Left up, right hand misses. Left up, right hand from Virgilio, who's handily getting outscored here, but nevertheless, the kid will try his best. There is one thing that this boy does not lack, and he does not lack heart, stamina, and determination. We go to round number three, then he's got it all to do. But we've seen it happen before. Will we see it happen again? Round number three, Van Schemek in the white, Van der Ent in the black. Nice combination thrown. Eyesight fantastic by Van Schemek, isn't it? Really good skills, well schooled. Look at that, so effortless. in Bamchamet, knew it wouldn't be easy. Come here professionally. And has to for that amount of money. Drives Van der Ent across the ring. Great knee up the middle. Good combinations. Tries his best. Good left kick, better right kick back though from Bam Chemek. Nice left kick to the body. That was sweet. Moves back. Good eyesight though, wasn't he? Back comes Van der Ent. Gotta watch the high kick though of Bam Chemek. You whip that hook from there. Jumping knee. Nice right hand. Combination goes in, just going out the side. You see what he's doing here? Just right kicking and then stepping to his own right, moving out the way of the right hand. It's very smart work, this. It's so subtle, but it works so well. That's what he'll do here. Kick, and then he'll step to his own right. See how he's moving just out the way of the right hand all the time. So when Virgilio tries to get anything in his right hand, he can't. Good jumping knee. Takes him off balance because he doesn't move his left leg out. If he moved his left leg out, then maybe he'd have success. But listen, you're fighting a kid that's a bit special. Nice kicks. Good 
trip there. Superbon looks more like a model than a fighter, just unscathed, no cauliflower ears or no cuts, and that was a good shot from Virgilio. That was a nice combination by him as well. Good movement though from the tie. Slides back, subtle movements as I said. This has not been easy for him. He's won the fight, it's no doubt, but it's not been easy for him. Excellent performance there. And you've got to give credit to Regilio, who really tried his best against a man that is absolutely the best at what he does. We'll see. That was a fabulous performance, that was. He was so subtle, wasn't he? His movement was so beautiful. Stepping out to his own right, just stopping the right hand. Beautiful movement. But you've got to give credit to this young boy, Virgilio van der Ent, who came with a plan, and his plan was to try and take the highest mountain, to climb it and to get to the top. But at the minute, there's a man that's staying firm on it, firmly on it, and that is Superbon Bamchemek. Swapping blows. Hooks, crosses, kicks, the whole shebang. A great performance, though, by Bam Chamek, who looks so subtle at what he does. But he's not come through that easily. And here's our final fight of tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Semelia versus Diogo Collado, that promises to be an absolute scorcher. So a brave performance by the young man from Alkmaar, but a performance of absolute sweet skills from and the Bamchamek star. Round of applause for both of these men, please. Brilliant performance. He'll do nothing at all to and at ruin Virgilio van der Ent. Your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner and through to the semi-finals, fighting out of the red corner, it's Superman! Yeah, superb and performance Jeremy. that was, you know, but you're still, I'll take nothing away from that kid who tried his best, just wasn't good enough. And for our runner-up, Regilio van den Nice guy as well, both of them can fight like hell and nice people. The current champions in the male division. Ilias Enahachi from Morocco and Fusion minus 60 kilogram world champion. Sufian Kadori from Morocco and Fusion minus 63 kilogram world champion. Ilias Boulaid from Morocco and Fusion minus 67 kilogram world champion. John A. Risco from Spain, Enfusion minus 70 kilogram world champion. Tayfan Ozkan from Turkey, Enfusion minus 72.5 kilogram world champion. Diogo Calado from Portugal, Enfusion minus 75 kilogram world champion. Vladimir Moravchik from Slovakia, Enfusion minus 80 kilogram world champion. Ibrahim El Bustati from Morocco and Fusion minus 85 kilogram world champion. Ibrahim El Bustati from Morocco and Fusion minus 90 kilogram world champion. Luis Tavares from the Netherlands and Fusion minus 95 kilogram world champion. Luis Tavares from the Netherlands and Fusion heavyweight world champion. Who will be a proud owner of an Enfusion belt? Watch it live on Enfusion. And now, please welcome to the blue corner from the Netherlands, Andy Bad News, Simulia! You know what? Listen, 
He fought Jordan Watson, and then one no, Jordan Watson's mind day. And um, what can I say? He went to the third round, and then he went to three, three rounds. He went to the fourth round, and he came out, and he took the ball by the horns, and he and he got a TKO control over Watson. Anyone who knows Watson the world over knows that Watson is an absolute lethal weapon. So he's got a big win. Can you underestimate him? No. Seven wins, one loss, and 11 KOs. We know what also Andy Samuel is. Had 25 fights as an, as, an, an, as an amateur and never lost one. Didn't want to be a fighter. A little bit of a background for my friend Danny Hovey. So if you want to be a fighter, he was into football and then decided, OK, I'll just have a go. And look, he's found what he's good at, hasn't he? But he's up against it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This kid is lethal. He wasn't aesthetically pleasing, you know? It's not really like, you know, when you see technique and you, 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 you can deal, you can you can pin, you can nitpick, can't you, about technique. This kid has got dynamite in his fist and he, he really, really, really means business. A nice kid, very quiet, but uh, one to watch. And he's signed with Enfusion. 21 years of age, Mr. Andy, bad news summary. Will it be bad news to Diogo Collado tonight here? On a hundred thousand special edition here from Abu Dhabi. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Portugal, King D, Diogo Colado! Making his way to the ring, then he's the 75 kilo, top, top number one knockout of our speciality scene when he high kicks that poor man in the side of the neck. He's 28 years of age, at 55, 35 wins, 14 losses, one draw with 15 wins, coming by way of a knockout, I've seen him fight in England a few times. He did Muay Thai. But Eddie Semele is very, very dangerous. He actually chose Colado. He said he wants to fight a champion. We'll see. A three three-minute rounds and fusion rules action here. Our MC is Mr. Peter Lowe. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 72 kilograms exactly. At just 21 years of age, he brings a fighting record of 47 fights with 46 wins. 11 of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance with only the single defeat from the Netherlands. It's bad news, Andy Schaeberle! Will it be bad news for King D? Colado go home. And across the ring, the fighting out of the red corner. One and yesterday's weigh in, he fights. scaled 70 kilograms exactly. He brings an excellent fighting record of 50 fights with 35 wins. 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout with 14 defeats and one draw. He's the current minus 75 kilogram infusion world champion from Portugal. It's Diogo King D. Very strong kicker, Colado. And ladies and gentlemen, this go. bout is brought to you and proudly sponsored Stained by, by Nico Fight Gear and Al Shira Stables in Abu Dhabi. And this end fusion rules minus 72 kilogram tournament quarter final number four will be contested over three three minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be a fourth deciding round. What you've also got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, is you know, as preparation for fighting a kicker like Collado. Watson would have been great preparation for uh, Andy Semele. We'll see in the yellow shorts, the once beaten in 47 fights is Andy Semele. And in the black shorts from Portugal, King D, Diogo Collado, who's a 75 kilo world champion. Weighed in yesterday at 71 kilo, so did the weight well. Right hand is the lethal shot from Semele. Put in the clinch as well, the elbow. Looking for 
the right hand, Semele. Look how he's cocked it. Ready to throw it. There you go. Good shot. Can't fall asleep with Semele. Bounces. Awkward, irky jerky style. Dangerous as the right hand again. in this round is that you know really impose themselves on a good twist by Collado Collado not being able to really get his distance because he's a five round fighter really Collado he seems to be a little bit quicker but it's tit for tat really isn't it you know really Landed anything of no good twist from Colado. Slight reddening over the left eye. Good left kick from Colado. Good low kick there from Semelia. Nice combination, couldn't split them. Really couldn't. See what the judges say. Bit erratic, wasn't it? Bit of a, you know, no one really landing cleanly. But we'll see. So, as I've got to give praise out for my Infusion team, because they have done an absolutely sparkling job. And it can't be done without a team that's just the world over has been absolutely brilliant and I've worked with some teams. Here's some of the action. Uh, congratulations to Edwin Van Os, Julie Kitchen, Betty Gerber, Alex Leonard, Maxime, everyone who puts this show together, all the guys in the OB van, the cameramen. It's been an absolute fantastic year and we have a great one in 2018 coming up in our fifth year in Eindhoven. It's going to be a scorcher. There's some of the action from the first round. Sorry, just want to give a bit of praise out to people that deserve it. Round number two. Semele is going to push forward now. Not kicking much because saving his legs. Smart work. Reaching though, isn't he? But he sneaks with his long limbs. There's a good right hand again. He's getting to Collado with these shots. He needs to. Play forward in Southpaw Collado and you no. Know, not losing that left kick, should be stepping to his own right as well. Semelier doesn't really aesthetically please him, but strong pushes in. Everything he does, he pushes in like that. He gets caught again, Collado. Smells blunt here, Semelier. The problem for anyone, this kid. It really is. Just takes you out of distance, bouncy, irky jerky style, you know, and just makes you miss. And see how he just moves out the way and then pushes in. He's got good sense of distance, Semele. Look, good right hand again. Lands clean on the chin of the Portuguese fighter.
Too slow, Collado's pulling. Much too slow. Dragging his back leg. You see how he drags his back leg, throwing the technique. Just see how he's dragging it. Steps from behind, dragging it. He's not stepping in with it. Again, gets caught with the right hand. It's a good trip, but it scores nothing in these rules. Nice combinations, good back from Collado. Needs to start throwing something of his own, really. Last 30 seconds. See, even when Semelin moves to his own left, Diogo's not cutting it off and not throwing any kicks. He's actually stepping to his own right. He should be throwing that left kick if he's going to stand southbound, and he's not. He's just chasing, really, not cutting the ring off. Might have been a little bit too much the weight cut for him, but he can't take nothing away from Samuel who's looking comfortable and he looks like he's winning to me. So, our final fight of tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just joined us here on Infusion, I'm Vinny Shawman and we have had a sparkler indeed, haven't we, here in Abu Dhabi? And we have edition number 59 coming up straight after this. But at the moment, I've got any Andy Samalier winning this fight. It's just distancing, timing. Looks like he's swimming his shots at times. He's got these long limbs, hasn't he? And you, you try and escape from them, and he whacks it straight on the chin. So we'll see. Third and final round then of this very exciting fight in the yellow is Andy Semelier. And in the world champion at 75 kilo at least is Diogo Collado in the black and gold. Needs more. Not giving him time to settle, Semelier just moving. Erky jerky style, but long limbs, strong. Pushes in with every shot. If you watch what he does, and he pushes in. Sort of backs off, really. He likes suckers you in, you sort of like. So he just moves that little bit back and then just walks you into a punch. There you go, like exactly like that. That's what he does, he's smart with it. Only a youngster at 21 years of age. Colorado's got to have a huge round, or at least a knockdown, I believe. making everything, Collado, what Collado's doing, it's just a little bit obvious, isn't it? It's just, it gives him that time to move to move away and throw his own stuff, because he just makes things a little bit too obvious. It's just that one step ahead, that was a beautiful kick though from Collado. Nice, good at that he is, Collado, good in the clinch. Great twist. Walked in behind her left hand and then through the left knee. Good twist. That was a beautiful right hand. Absolutely perfect on the chin. I told you he's dangerous. Collado's not going to get over this. It's gone. That was a really good performance by Semelia. I told you. You know. People think, oh yeah, well, he's this, he's that. Look, he's beating good guys, you know? And that was a sweet shot right on the tip of the chin. 
And a very, very good performance there. Watch this right hand. Straight down the path. He suckers you in. Boom. That was clean on the chin. And he got up and he was all at sea. You know, maybe the weight, losing the weight for 75 kilo, maybe. But this, listen, I'm not taking nothing away from Samuel. Diogo Collado is a champion. He knew what he had to do. See how he just steps out of the world. See how he just steps out to his own left. Boom, bang, beautiful. Kid's good. Trust me, this kid is good. So we'll see. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of these men, please. But after two minutes and 18 seconds completed of the third round, your referee has stopped the contest, deeming Diogo Collado in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO. That was some performance, the wasn't it? Corner and through to the semi finals. Congratulations it's Andy. to Andy Semele. He proves that the wins. Semele. No flu. You're taking it slightly, and he's going to take you out. A good and performance show by him. Your appreciation for a brave runner up, Diogo, Diogo Collado. So we'll see then. Well, I'll tell you something. We had an absolutely extraordinary. Thank you. What can you do? You had an extraordinary show, didn't we? And we have really, really. Stay there, mate. Thanks very much. Well, I have to tell him, don't I? We had a really, really good performance, didn't we, by everyone tonight. Aziz Kalar and Mohamed Kamel, Superman Bamchamek. The all shown heart and determination will show you more because we're going to be coming up on edition 59. You stay tuned. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. It is going to be an absolute scorching show. We've had upsets, we've had knockouts, we've had everything, we've had controversy. Don't you go away. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this is.